this is a new bell work. So let's solve number one. What we're going to do is we're going to take the coefficient of x, which is 3, and divide it over here. So x equals 6. Very good. Now same with number 2. The coefficient of x is negative 4. Just take 76 and divide it by negative 4. x equals negative 19. Excellent work. So some of you remember from the bags and coins, if we were going to solve this, right? Well, how would we solve this? Bridger. Okay. Okay, well, let's start with that, then I'll come back. Okay, so it says take away two bags from the left side, and take away two bags from the right side. Now what? And then take away three coins from the left side and the right side. Very good. So let's take away those three coins, and those three coins. And how many coins are in this one bag? And one bag equals six coins. Excellent. Of course, the problems will not show any bags or coins. Okay. So, I know the answer. Um, well, no, you don't. Well, okay. Fine. Okay. So on this one, some I'm just going to show you. This is how we kind of did it before, right? So you're just going to take the equal sign. You're going to drop it down right here. Give yourself a line. So we have all of this space all of this space right here to do work, okay? Now the idea here is to get the x's on their own side of the equal sign. Well, how many x's do I have? Five. So let's take these five x's and just drop those as well, so five x's. But the problem is, is that up here we have this plus 10, right? Well, we need to get rid of this plus 10. So what do we do to get rid of it? Well, since it's plus, it's now going to be minus 10. Okay. Now, well, yeah, well, up here was, see, this is plus 10 right here, right? So to get rid of it, we're just going to minus 10, right? But the problem is we got to do it on this line. we got to do it on both sides of it, so minus 10 as well. So the great thing about this is this. Plus 10 and minus 10 would give you a big fat zero. Uh, listen, you can put this, yeah, you can put the plus zero if you really want to. But uh, let's just make it a phantom zero just to make it easier. All right, now we take 55 minus 10. So 55 minus 10 is 45. Well, that looks like it's going to be a lot easier to solve, right? Just like we did in the bell work, what's the coefficient of x? Five. Five. So let's take that coefficient and we'll divide it over here. So x equals 45 divided by 5 are? Nine. Niner. All right, so some of you look at this problem and you say, well, there's minus and a negative, so I can't do it. Well, it's not really as bad as you think it is. Okay, we're going to start with the first we're just going to drop this equal sign down here. Is this in the bucket? All right. No. Oh. So is there anyone that cannot do that? Just drop the equal sign. Give yourself some space to work right in here. Well, remember, we want that x to be on its own side, but we have to take its coefficient. What is the coefficient of x? Jess. It is negative 2. Very good. So let's take the negative 2, and we're going to drop this negative 2x right here. So notice up here we had this minus or this negative 5 that was with the negative 2x, but it needs to be gone. So what are we going to do? Since it was negative 5, we're going to make it a plus 5. What's negative 5 plus 5? Zero. 0, but it's a phantom 0, okay? Uh, but remember, since we added 5 right here, let's add 5 right here as well. 13 plus 5? 18. So now what we have to do is get rid of that coefficient of x. Negative 2, we're just going to take that 18 and divide it by negative 2, okay? So we took this negative 2, divided it over here, 
And so x equals negative niner. Okay, so we have this one, and yeah, it's got a fraction, so that changes everything, right? Wrong. Process is still the same. So take this equals dropper right around here. And we're going to take this 5 7 x, stays the same. But the problem is we've got this minus 4, so let's get rid of that by adding 4 to both sides of that line. So negative 4 plus 4 is going to give you a 0. 21 plus 4 is 25. Okay, so this is looking a lot easier to solve. It's much like the problems we did on Friday. Right? So what is the coefficient of x? 5 sevenths, right? So let's take that 25 and divide it by 5 sevenths. Well, the problem is you can't divide by a fraction, so it's actually 25 times 7 fifths. What? Yeah. yeah, you can make 25 a fraction as well and multiply straight across. Remember, we can't divide by a fraction over here, so we do need to make this. We need, we need to take the reciprocal of that and then multiply. So as it turns out, 25 times 7 is 175. Divided by 1 times 5 is 5. 175 divided by 5? 35. Bam. It's a good problem. <clears throat> So, this and this is, well, you just look in your book. I know, but this is great see? because we call these step equations because they can be solved in two, what the heck? All right, two steps equations are very much like a two, uh, two move checkmate because after two moves, you're done. Wait, two do steps, play, done. Do All right, here is another example. Uh, 2x plus 3 equals 9. Notice the only thing is the difference is the book doesn't show that line right there. Bring down the equal sign. Okay. See? No line. So I'll just show the line and everything is the same. Okay. This negative and a minus stuff, it's just the same process. Okay. If it's a minus here, then you just add there. All right. Yeah, that's 6. Try them. Do it because otherwise your hair will fall out. All right, Lily's going to do A for us on the iPad. Hey, good luck. Okay, so wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, okay, whatever. How do you erase now, Mr. Sal? It's good, just keep going. Okay. There you go. Um, so what you do, you put bring the equal sign down, and then you would... You know what, how I just figure this out? Can I just say how I figure it out? Because yeah, this, sure. this is really confusing how you do it sometimes. Just sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. So, um, what I just do, I um, actually just figure out what two, like, you what multiplies by two to make, um, wait, 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 wait. Okay, here we go. So we're going to subtract 10. This is what I do, okay? Subtract 10 over 4 would equal 6, right? So um, 2 times what equals, wait, oh, 3. 2 times, two times 3 42. equals 23. 6. So then 6, that's what you got for this answer. So that's, I guess, what the Six that's is it. the answer. No. Wait. Wait. So then six plus four. So six plus four. I'm just going to write it up here. Six plus four equals what, guys? Five. Ten. Oh, wow. We're okay. so smart. So what was the answer again? Oh, oh. X. Okay. X equals three. Yay! All right, Sierra will do B for us, please. All right. Okay. Hey, no talking. Sierra's gonna work this one. Let's see how did Let's I do, do this? All right. So you bring this down. 
that's weird. Okay, so it's just three x again, and then you subtract five from that, and then you subtract five. That isn't okay. And so then this is nine, and that's zero, and then nine. Oh boy, that looks horrible. Divided by 3 is 3, so x equals 3. Bam! Excellent work. Here we'll do C, please. Okay, I'm probably wrong. So, does this still count? Should I change it to a minus? Yes? No? Okay, so then my whole answer is wrong. Let me figure this out for a second. So this, you do 2 plus, or 5 plus 2, you get 7. Then we do 7 equals, what, did you do negative 3? No, just give it a shot. Okay, I'm probably wrong, but what the heck. So uh, 7 equals 3. X, it's off the board, and then you do 7 divided by 3, and then you get 2.5. So 2.5 equals X. All right, Bridger, you're so close. Sweet. Okay. So who can tell us what happened that Bridger would need to fix? Carly. Yeah, very good. Okay. See, this is a positive 2, so we'd need to get rid of them by subtracting 2, okay? That's right. And so if you did that, x equals 1. All right, Maddie, we'll do D for us, please. Okay, so you bring the equal sign down, and then you bring 4x down. In order to get rid of the 5, you subtract 5. So then you have to do it to both sides. You subtract <coughs> 5, and then 13 minus 5 um, is a 9, 8. So then you do 8 divided by the coefficient of 4x is 4, and you equals 2. So then x equals Excellent work. Yeah, so this stuff is very good, uh, but I've got to get rid of some of this stuff to give us some space, okay? Yeah. All right, Carson, we'll do E. Okay. E, Carson. So, S, the, it's plus 8, so you have to do minus 8, and then minus 8 would equal negative 10. And then equals 5s. Negative 5 is the coefficient. So you divide that. And then that equals 2. So oh, s equals 2. Excellent. Well done, Carson. All right, Carly, we'll do F. Okay. So you bring down the equal sign, and then you bring down this one. So that's 2 thirds W. Then you change this to positive 2. And this equals 12. Then you have to divide it, but you can't divide, so you multiply it by the reciprocal which equals, if you cross simplify, 18 over 1, so 18 equals W. Excellent, Carly. That's very good.